Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee, welcome back to more Paper Mario 2. In the last part, we got here to Glitzville after doing a pretty annoying little thing where we had to help a mob boss get up his family back or something. I really don't know the words for it, but I don't care. Anyway, in this episode, we are now in Glitzville, and hey, there's an egg coupon I don't need, so I might as well. Actually, you know what, I don't, I'm going to keep that and throw away the stretch room because I never use that. In this episode, we are actually going to start off by getting some of the stuff that you can get out here. And I'm going to save for some stupid reason. Come on. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and start talking. Or then we're going to start ahead. Eh. We're going to move on with the uh, everything. And try to start looking for the crystal star. Alright, there's something I should explain really quick about this level. This level is very weird in that it does not have random encounters. I I don't know how to put it, but basically there is no random encounters. Or there are no people to fight that I don't know what I'm trying to say. Ah Okay. I'm trying not to spoil anything, but I guess I'm going to have to or since it's gonna happen in a little bit. We're actually gonna be doing a lot of fighting. We're pretty much gonna get into a tournament and the thing is, is that we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be fighting a whole lot of new enemies. If you get what I'm trying to say, so basically, what we're going to be doing is just fighting people that we already know for the most most part, and then we're going to fight some new enemies. So what I'm thinking of doing is that I'm going to cut the the fights that we already or the part, fights that we already have been into with some people. Well, you'll see what I mean in a little bit. I have a hard time trying not to spoil anything, but actually, I just did a whole lot, so never mind. And that's a pretty unnecessary screen. Wow, this place is so cool! Hey, Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right. Ugh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Oof! He just jumped on your face. Like Mario. Stay down, push pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Whippy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rock Clark. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to Mama again. Hooey, champ. That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can hand challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't I a fighter that there... That can... Even... Make me sweat. Don't know why I was having a hard time reading that. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in sticky diapers. You got a pwn to pick. Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. Settle. You're a number one, baby. Rock Hulk is the champ. <laughs> oh, hey, look. There's a crystal star right there. That should be easy. That was easy. You see that, Mario? That thing is on the shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Well, looks like all the other ones except brown. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That's the sparkle of a crystal star. Um, but. That doesn't make much sense at all. Why wouldn't it be on the guy's belt? Well, considering that the story's been around for what is about a thousand years, I would say that it just got lost and some guy found it that'll look good on a belt. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should we do or, or move here? Uh, that's a really good question. Um... Uh, Yeah, I was going to go for that anyway. And blah blah. All right, now we're supposed to talk to the head honcho here, who was that guy that was talking to Rock Hawk a second ago. And we got to talk to this guy in order to get through. I don't really care what he says. Heck, I'm probably going to skip through a lot of dialogue in this level just simply because all of it is kind of unnecessary, or most of it is unnecessary. Parts of it isn't. And this should be the room right here. Is so that you want to buy a fighter bub? All right, go on in. Mr. Grubbs is just inside. All right. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubbs' office. 
Yep, that's me, Grubba, and you, and you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. I want to be a fighter. What, now an athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Hooey, that dude changed a thing or two, son. Always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills, we young fighters. All primed and a rare in the goo. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. I'm a portly plumber. That's not skinny. Now, play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Eh, sure. Just so I can get the crystal sword. <laughs> and why are you walking outside of your desk just to talk to me like this? That was just a poor pup. I didn't give a pokey's patoot for a fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. You know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite! Dynamite, yes. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they aren't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll learn look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? Um, sure. That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have a little talk and talk. Come on, now. Hey, sir, I just realized that you look like the invincible tub of grub, except smaller. Are you related? No. Okay. So are you gonna say anything anytime soon? Okay. That's a nice looking carpet. Now he, you, now how you like this, Pud? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Is it this site? Deluxe. You become a champ soon, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of all big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Play yourself in a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Well, thank you for skipping over here. Now, uh, here we have the Major League locker room. A little contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fires, darn it. What about the Minor League? How's that one look? Right I'm not say. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there aren't... They ain't but one world champion. Playing your way up to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. Actually, it kind of is. The same. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't it be worth it if there was no challenge? I can see you got the fire for it, pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be a champ, I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. <coughs> oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign a little mini contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just your, show your name, okay? Sign me up. You signed the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still gotta say, party li likes a bit of a little punch, as the fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooey! I got it. From now on, you're gonna meet the great Gonzalez. Ooh, ain't that a beaut. Thinking if that ain't a good stroke of genius, I ain't, ain't that good comes around once in a lifetime. If everyone will soon bow the great before the great, the uh, will soon bow before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Um, okay. I want to think about who was Gonzalez again. I don't care. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way, <coughs> Jolene, could you come in a minute, dear? I'm starting to have a hard time talking. Oh. Uh, Yes, sir, you wish to see me? Sure did, huh? Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rise to start, please. Leave. Take him away, I can't talk anymore. <coughs> well, at least he's the one actually doing the walking and the talking. That guy wasn't doing much of a good walking and talking. As you know, you are a contract fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what she says. As per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. 
There are many other small guidelines I'll explain as they become relevant. Alright, thank you. Hey, this is my early locker room I was looking for, and I feared it would be dirty. I just knew it. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the Meyerling, of course, as you must have now started your career. If you don't like this dig dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and press and log on with A. Then pick Reserve and Match. Okay then. Reserve a match. Mr. Grubble comes on and tells you who you're fighting. And I'm going to go tell, go ahead and tell you right now, you really don't have to worry about what he's saying here. And I won't be reading a whole lot of them. And he's going to tell you what you should do. Hey, we got to get... We have to appeal at least once, okay. Now, he's going to tell you, like, a certain parameter that you're going to have to meet. That's about the only thing you really have to pay attention to. And she's just explaining how you lose and that if you follow the guidelines, you'll move up and get paid. So that's all I really need to know, and I do understand that, so, yeah. And then after signing up, we just wait here for about a few seconds, and then this guy comes through. And then he tells us that our match is ready, and then we can just move on. And up next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hired Heads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer... <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna stop talking now. They're gonna be talking to the Goomba Bros, and they're all like, Yeah, we can take this guy on, even though we're pretty much the lowest of the low. Hot tickety dang, fight fans! Here's the Greek Gonzalez, now straining on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late, like he owns the place. Whew! Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bomb, punk! Yeah, this guy cheats, but if we can... Haha, <laughs> the ultimate insult, we try... That was quite the insult right there. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Okay, anyway. Okay, the guy wants us to appeal once. Which we'll do. And... We're gonna power show all of you punks! Because we're just that awesome. That was really easy, and I just realized that all the party members were Goombas. And they're cheering for me, beating up their own kind. Okay, that's a bit weird. Lord Hit Wonder! That battle with Savage was okay. That fight, what a joke. Yeah, blah, blah. Yay! We won. A really easy fight. What the heck, all of them are pretty easy. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss, but listen, son, fighters gotta play, gotta play to the crowd, you know, pump them up more. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> I'm sorry, but I'm having a big cough today for some reason. Then we get paid three coins. Woo. Next fight will be, not be set up until you select a reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen, blah, blah, blah. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook! How was your first fight, dog? Yeah, we're gonna be talking to, like, these guys for a little bit, and they're just kinda, like, introduce themselves. Master Crash, who has a verbal tick of always saying BOMB. And... Yeah. I just tend to ignore what these guys say, and if you really wanted to hear what these guys were going to say, I apologize, but I really don't feel like talking anymore, or at least saying what these guys are saying, because really these guys don't have anything plot relevant to say, really. Anyway, that's the core of my league crew, man. You need something to ask us. Uh, blah, blah. <coughs> Alright, there we go. And we can actually use this bed to actually heal up our star, or not star points. You can't heal star points, but you can heal HP and FP. You can't heal star points, so you might want to uh, save up your star points. Okay, anyway, um, I think we spent enough time here today, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode off. I'm Lynn Frisbee, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.